The following is a Richie on Sports production. premier indoor training facility in all the Gulf Coast and for the last 10 weeks this 71,000 square feet of sports heaven has been our home. Hi again everyone, I'm Eric Ritchie. Welcome to Louisiana Baseball inside the Big Easy Sportsplex with co-owner Joey Cabaceres and the founder of D-Cell Baseball. Hard to believe Joey, it's our final episode. Yeah, 10 weeks straight. It's been a really nice program. Uh, no one's ever done this before. We've showcased a lot of kids, a lot of players, a lot of teams and coaches that otherwise have really kind of been under the radar. So we're real happy to be a part of it. We're, we're excited about the next venture as well. The great thing is, is that Cox Sports Television offered us a platform, Joey, to do this show statewide. So in our final show, we're going to give away six top awards to the top players, coaches, and teams in the state, both on a collegiate and prep level. We will start with the Louisiana Baseball College Player of the Year. The Louisiana Baseball College Player of the Year is LSU pitcher Aaron Nola. Coming off a masterful sophomore season, the question heading into this year was how could he possibly be better? His big brother weighed in back in February. I guarantee we'll have just as good a year. I mean, that's the way he is. That's his mentality. He's not going to overdo it. I mean, he's just, just Aaron. Big brother knows best. Heading into regionals this week, look how the numbers stack up. His 127 strikeouts, third best in the nation. And here you are, once again, matching last year's numbers. How have you been able to do that? Uh, it's all about preparation for me. And, you know, all, all about focus. Uh, you know, if I put those two together, you know, good things are going to happen. And, uh, you know, it showed so far. What an unbelievable privilege it is for us to have that kid in this program and to be able to watch him pitch. <laughs> I, I, I've just never seen anything like him. Aaron Noel is an absolute beast. He deserves every honor he's going to get. He's got 29 wins in his career that ties him with guys like Ben McDonald, Louis Coleman, top honors. He's got at least one more start, potentially three or four, depending on how far else you can make it in, uh, in their postseason. If he gets one of those wins, he is the top guy. So it's been a fun time watching this kid. He carves people up at the plate. He, he strikes everybody out, but he also doesn't walk anybody. He's got a bunch of finishing pitches. He's got a bright, bright future ahead of him. He's projected to be number six overall with the Mariners. He may go earlier than that, depending on how the rest of the season plays out. You never know how that all plays. But a real special talent. Really happy to have him down here. Uh, happy to be a part of it and watch him play and, and mature. So hats off to Aaron Nola. He's going to be a really good pro. Our next award is the Louisiana College Coach of the Year. In a state where two teams climbed all the way to the top of the Division I polls and another made it to the Junior College World Series, frankly, this was a tough call. In the end, Louisiana baseball went with the coach who took his team to a place they'd only been to twice before in school history. The Louisiana Baseball Coach of the Year is Delgado's Joe Sherman. Like Nola, Sherman coming off a terrific season. In fact, the Dolphins 47 and 11 record last year, the best in school history. For an encore, how about a trip to the JUCO World Series? Something that would make Joe's late father, Rag Sherman, very proud. People followed him and I always respected that about him and I always wanted to, to be him because I saw the respect that young men gave him, old men gave him, ladies gave him, everybody gave him. And he, he had a presence that's kind of very unique. Along with the trip to the JUCO World Series, Sherman won his 800th game at Delgado this season and won the Region 23 Coach of the Year. Now you can add the Louisiana Baseball Coach of the Year. Wow, that's a, that's a tremendous honor. You know, there's some great baseball coaches in this state, and the fact that I'm, I'm being honored that way is, is really, I don't have a whole lot to say other than thank you. In a year when you have Paul Maneri up at LSU capturing a title like he did, and you have Tony Robichaux at ULL with this outrageous team that he has with, with 50 wins, to give the Coach of the Year award to Joe Sherman at Delgado says a lot. It really does. And I kind of speak personally to this because I played for him a couple summers in a row. Uh, with this All-American team. Uh, we went to Johnstown, Pennsylvania a couple years, won it the last year with a, with a really good team. He is a, an exceptional game manager, and he's a guy that if you're on his team, you want to sit right next to him 
and listen to everything he's talking about with the game. He, he taught me about tendencies. He taught me about statistics within the game. He taught me about reading the, the opposition, body language, all of it. And, and really was instrumental in me becoming a coach after I, st I stopped playing. So uh, hats off to Joe Sherman. Good things coming more for the Dolphins. Time now for our Louisiana College Team of the Year. And very much like what Delgado experienced under Coach Sherman, this team enjoyed a season of historic proportions. As the NCAA Regionals get underway this week, we're happy to say that the road to Omaha will go through Lafayette. The Louisiana Baseball College Team of the Year is the ULL Raging Cajuns. They have been called grinders all year by their head coach, Tony Robichaud who saw his Raging Cajuns climb to number one in the nation during a season where they have set a new Sunbelt Conference record at 53-7 and, and won a nation's best 22-2 and two on the road. I've been in this business a long time. You know, you get a hitting team, but then you don't pitch. You get a team that can pitch, but you can't play defense. You get a team that can pitch and hit, but you don't play defense. I mean, it is so hard to do all three, and we, we're, we're very good at doing all three. It's not so much the record and what we've accomplished. It's, uh, it's fun to play on a team that nobody cares about who gets the credit. You know, you can come out here and everyone can, you know, get mad when things aren't going their way, or you can come out here and pull for your teammates and not worry about personal results, and that's, that, that's why this team's so special. So team of the year this year is going to be ULL. Big surprise, right? Tony Robeshaw had that team primed. Older guys, really mature. They play with malicious intent. The big thing about them is they were number one or number two in the country in every offensive category you can imagine. Home runs, triples, doubles, hits. But what's really surprising to me was that they were number four in the country in stolen bases. So you look at that and go, well, if we're hitting that many home runs, that many doubles, why are we trying to steal that many bases? And maybe you can argue that it's because they're stealing those bases, they're getting good pitches to hit and good counts. And that's setting those hitters up. So that team offensively really figured it out. They came to the park every day. They didn't throw away any at bats. They didn't take any focus away from their at bats or their approaches. Just a lot of malicious intent throughout the entire lineup. Fun, fun team to go watch. It's time for our first break here on the season finale of Louisiana Baseball. But up next, our postseason awards turn to our high school player of the year as Louisiana Baseball rolls on from Big Easy Sportsplex. Louisiana Baseball is brought to you by Big Easy Sportsplex. Also by Spirits on Bourbon, Arrow Fence, MyHealthInsuranceLady.com, and by Tavern on Vets. Big Easy Sportsplex in Elmwood is a 71,000 square foot membership based indoor sports and fitness center. And it's not just for pros like former LSU star Chad Jones. I'm a member because my daughter and I can train at the same time here at Big Easy Sportsplex. I'm a member because while I'm getting ready for my season, my son can do the same. With membership packages available for families and individuals, stop by and tell us. Why are you a member? Hey y'all, where are y'all at? We're going to the Tavern on Vets. Stop our you know you got Where are you guys all been? We've been at the Tavern on Vets having a good time. Steaks, $12.75, all day, all night. Yeah, you heard me right, $12.75, all day and all night. Music every Friday and Saturday night. Come see us. We've been missing you. Thanks, Brad. You're right. Tavern on Vets at 2244 Veterans Memorial Boulevard in Kenner is a great place to go for those awesome ribeyes to watch the game or to enjoy the music Friday and Saturday nights. Like up and coming country music star William Michael Morgan. Take a listen. What we got is a little old fashioned. Baby, you're an instant classic. Tavern on Vets. Like Brad says, Where you been? chances of him playing Major League Baseball or what it's going to be like when he does? The sky's the limit for him. He puts in the work. He's got the, the talent. It, it's going to happen. He'll, he'll, he'll make it happen. He'll definitely make it happen. Welcome back to Louisiana Baseball. That was Derek DeLatte, who coached our next award recipient from the time he was 9 to 14. Derek knew early on that this player was something special. Just how special remains to be seen. But what our Louisiana Baseball High School Player of the Year has already accomplished is truly amazing. The Louisiana Baseball High School Player of the Year is Brother Martin shortstop, 
Gregory Dykeman. I'm Gregory Dykeman, senior shortstop at Brother Martin High School. He is no stranger to the spotlight. From the Hall of Famers he has already met to the hollowed grounds he has already graced, Gregory Dykeman is living a baseball dream for the past decade. Baseball started basically with, with myself and Gregory when he was nine. Gregory's going to take a trip with us and go play in Orlando at the Wild World of Sports in the Turn Back the Clock tournament. Katrina changed everything. I told him he needed to get there and um, obviously he took it to heart. Almost instantly we started running in, into down trees. And you always thought the next pine tree was going to be the last one and it wasn't. Gregory's father and a gentleman who he didn't know, a stranger, cutting pine trees through a chainsaw. He made it down to Pensacola and just drove all the way to Orlando and all of a sudden we see all these cameras doing a story. We became the story at the at the tournament. It's just hard to watch because there's like still a bunch of people on rooftops. That's your home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the start of an epic baseball ride for Dykeman that included a dramatic triple during an elimination game at the Dixie Youth World Series. Miss Angie was uh, a little nervous. It was a tie game against Tennessee. It was tied at five. Um, Gregory came up with two men on and two out and delivered a, a two-run triple to take the lead. A flair for the dramatic, and as Gregory matured, so did his game and his swing. First couple of years, one of the biggest things that stood out about Gregory was his bat. That's one of the things that kind of tended to make you look at him, uh, do a double take. Ball flies off the bat. When I'm in the cage with him throwing, it's, it, you know, it's pretty scary in there, you know, to be perfectly honest with you. Greg Dykeman. More success landed Dykeman on a national showcase tournament. For the past two summers, playing with some of the top talent in the country, playing on major league fields, and meeting Hall of Famers. There's really not too many words to describe that feeling. You know, just walking out the tunnel, seeing the light with some of the best players in the country. It's all just been a great experience, and I've just been blessed to be able to do this. I think what really got him on the map with a lot of the uh, major league scouts was he put uh, one or two of them up in the upper deck at, at, at uh, the Metrodome and you could almost see him turning and just talking to himself in disbelief. They weren't the only ones. Dykeman has been on LSU's radar for years. A meeting in 2007 with then first-year Tigers head coach Paul Maneri was just the beginning. As I got older, going into my eighth grade or my freshman year, I was trying to make varsity and just see some better pitching. So I went up to a showcase up there and did really well. And uh, I ended up coming back to the next one, doing really well again, and they asked for my verbal commitment. Honestly, I was, I was lost for words. I kind of paused, and uh, he was waiting for an answer, and then I was like, yeah, I'll come to LSU. There'll be a, a, you know, a great sense of pride uh, once he puts the purple and gold on, and uh, hopefully he can continue the success over there. We're excited about it. As for his senior year at Brother Martin, Dykeman continued to display the talent that has him rated as one of the top high school prospects in the nation. A 954 slugging percentage included 11 home runs. Being a Crusader is just great. Uh, wearing the crimson and gold every day, getting to play at great facilities, great coaches, great people surrounding you, uh, just a lot of support. Um, there's no better feeling. Well, maybe one. No doubt Dykeman will have a decision to make next week, depending on where he goes in the Major League Baseball draft. I think any baseball player's goal is to make it to the top, all the way to the show. Uh, you know, how you get there, that's to be determined, but uh, that's my ultimate goal. I'm gonna just work hard and do everything I can to. The first uh, I'm most proud of is his humility. You know, you know, he's had all this attention surrounding him. He's had all these scouts looking at him, and he's still Gregory. The biggest thing is he 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 works hard, and he's he's always worked hard. And I think that a, that a lot of that goes back to his parents and the way he was raised. Um, great morals, just a, a good heart, um, a great kid all around. Here at Brother Martin, he's had tremendous success academically and with uh, the baseball as well, and, and I just couldn't ask for more uh, from a son. I am a humble baseball player. Uh, sometimes it may come off as cockiness, but you know I, I keep my head down and I just try and play the game how it's supposed to be played, work hard on and off the field, and uh, you know I just try and help my team win.
Gregory Dykeman, such a stud. Kid's been a local product in New Orleans. Known him since he was 10 years old. When we opened Big Easy, he literally, he and his dad were the first guys there. The first day said, we want to be members. We want to come in here and work out. And, and I haven't counted too many days. They're not in here doing their thing. We have a cage in the back. We call it the Dykeman cage. He lives in that thing. Behind us, we got a couple of our players too. Colin Burns, Holy Cross, Sean Cashman. Uh, he's one of our 10 year old players. These guys are all look up to him. He, he works a lot with the younger kids in here. So I, I love giving this award to Gregory Dykeman, featuring Gregory Dykeman. Can't go without saying Bo Jordan out of, uh, out of Lake Charles with Barb had a monster year as well, similar numbers, as well as Chase Vallow, the catcher from uh, St. Thomas Moore. These guys were, you know, these high school kids put up some huge numbers, countless you know, me measurements, what they meant to their team. So ha uh, hats off to those guys, but Gregory Dykeman could be more proud of you. At MyHealthInsuranceLady.com, we offer online quotes for Blue Cross, Humana, and Coventry, just to name a few. That's My Health Insurance Lady. We offer you expert advice on choosing a plan that's right for you and your family. That's My Health Insurance Lady. So go to MyHealthInsuranceLady.com for your health insurance needs. That's My Health Insurance Lady. MyHealthInsuranceLady.com In the heart of the French Quarter, the recently renovated Spirits on Bourbon, as seen on Spike TV, is your must-see destination on Bourbon Street, with nightly entertainment featuring our dueling piano show. Sing along and have a great time. Spirits on Bourbon, with our world-famous signature drink, The Resurrection, served in our souvenir blinking skull mug with tons of booze and a jalapeno for extra kick. Or try the Barber Beer. It's not a beer, it's a delicious mixed drink with whipped cream vodka, root beer schnapps, cream soda, and topped with whipped cream. Or if you dare, pay homage to our resident ghost, Edward Dubois, and have a shot in his barber chair. Come hungry. Our great food is served 24 hours a day, Thursday through Monday. Steaks, shrimp beignets, shrimp po' boys, and the best gumbo in the French Quarter. And for souvenirs, visit our website at spiritsonbourbon.com. Spirits on Bourbon, 615 Bourbon Street. I'm, doing, I'm Andre Labe. Uh, I'm a physical therapist. I'm actually the owner and uh, CEO of Total Package Performance and Wellness Facility here at the Big Easy Sportsplex. Uh, our program and our facility was actually spawned off of the idea that we have been seeing a dramatic increase in injuries in the adolescent age group uh, from ages from like 10 to 17. Get athletic. Beautiful. Call us here at Total Package or email us here at tpfunction.com and we can give you all the information on our program. For four decades, Arrow Fence has provided top quality fencing, gates, and service. Not only specializing in all types of fencing, Arrow Fence offers automated gates and controls. With an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating, Arrow Fence is fully licensed and insured. For a free estimate, log on to our website or call today. My opinion, number one team in the country. If there's another team, in high school that's better than them, I'd, I'd love to see them. That was Live Oak head coach Greg Briggs just moments after running headfirst into our Louisiana Baseball High School Team of the Year. Now like in the collegiate scene where we had two teams not only play well in the state but go all the way to the top in the country, our high school baseball team of the year was not only number one in this state but maybe the country. The Louisiana Baseball High School Team of the Year is the Bar Buccaneers. Looking for a way to close out the season in style? How about winning your last 27 games, including the 5A state championship, 7-1, scoring your first run on a straight steal of home? This is by far the best team I've ever played with. And just to go out in style, but I guess cherry on top of my, my buds I grew up with for 10, 11 years. It's the greatest feeling ever. Never gets old. You look at these guys, see how much they love one another. And uh, I'm just so proud of them. Oh yeah, it feels great. Uh, I just, I just get th thank all the seniors. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't be able to do what I do without them. No shock here, Barb High School is going to take top honors as team of the year in Louisiana. Uh, the Barb Bucks went 39 and two at 27 straight wins. Uh, they're going to be the national team of the year. If not, it's going to be a travesty. It's their second state title in three years. Uh, that school, that team, they're just a machine. They do everything right. We had the proud honor of working with those guys at Big Easy Sportsplex and D-Cell Baseball went and worked with those pitchers. Um, and, you know, going into the, the state high school 
coach of the year. We're not going to have to travel too much farther from Lake Charles to find out who that is. The Louisiana Baseball High School Coach of the Year is Barb's Glenn Cicchini. Consistency? How about 24 seasons in a row with at least 20 wins? Over the past 15 years, 9% of Barb players were selected in the Major League Baseball draft. This season, six seniors are Division I signees. And after Barb's seventh state championship, the question, Will the school's second national championship be coming next? Absolutely. I, I like no one. I mean, here's the deal. You all want to have humility. You know, who really knows who the best team is? But Louisiana's got great baseball. We won our last 27 games. We're in the highest classification. Uh, we faced the only two losses were the Division I signees. I truly believe we've been up there all year. We've, we've, we're one of the top te 10 teams in the nation year after year. And I think we've earned it. Glenn Giacchini, uh, it's going to be the Louisiana State Coach of the Year. Personal friend of mine, really enjoyed working with Barb High School with Coach Glenn. He is an open-minded individual. He loves to learn all the new stuff. He's passionate, loves his players. His players love him. He has just really entrenched himself in that community. He has, you know, he's just done a great job with that squad. It goes without saying, though, that a lot of coaches, especially around this area that we know, have also had some phenomenal years. You got to look at Coach Wisniewski, brother Martin. Those guys were in the mix of it the whole year. They were a couple bad hops away from being in the finals. Jesuit Coach Latino, those guys, again, one swing away uh, from being in the finals. Did some great work with those programs. Monica at Rummel, uh, we're talking about a team that suffered through, had the injury bug. Their, their best guy went down with Tommy John. So it's, it's usually difficult to pick that best coach of the year, but Coach Chikini's going to take it this year. Well deserved. It's time for another break here on Louisiana Baseball. Our Medical Minute is on deck. But first, let's head out to Bourbon Street and check in with one of our Louisiana Baseball's fine sponsors. Hey, Eric, yeah, it's been great to be a part of Louisiana Baseball here this year. It's the last episode, but here at Spirits on Bourbon, we don't slow down. It's summertime in New Orleans. We have the great barber shop chair with the shot chair and Nikki working the shot chair. We have the dueling pianos. We have great food, and we have our resurrection drink. It's summertime, it doesn't slow down. It just gets hotter. Spirits on Bourbon at 615 Bourbon Street. Come on down. In the heart of the French Quarter, the recently renovated Spirits on Bourbon, as seen on Spike TV, is your must-see destination on Bourbon Street, with nightly entertainment featuring our dueling piano show. Sing along and have a great time. Spirits on Bourbon, with our world-famous signature drink, The Resurrection, served in our souvenir blinking skull mug with tons of booze and a jalapeno for extra kick. Or try the Barber Beer. It's not a beer, it's a delicious mixed drink with whipped cream vodka, root beer schnapps, cream soda, and topped with whipped cream. Or if you dare, pay homage to our resident ghost, Edward Dubois, and have a shot in his barber chair. Come hungry. Our great food is served 24 hours a day, Thursday through Monday. Steaks, shrimp beignets, shrimp po' boys, and the best gumbo in the French Quarter. And for souvenirs, visit our website at spiritsonbourbon.com. Spirits on Bourbon, 615 Bourbon Street. Big Easy Sportsplex in Elmwood is a 71,000 square foot membership based indoor sports and fitness center. And it's not just for pros like former LSU star Chad Jones. I'm a member because my daughter and I can train at the same time here at Big Easy Sportsplex. I'm a member because while I'm getting ready for my season, my son can do the same. With membership packages available for families and individuals, stop by and tell us. Why are you a member? So we're here with Dr. Espinoza at the Orthopedic Center for Sports Medicine on Airline Highway. I'm Dr. Michael O'Brien. I practice at the Tulane Institute of Sports Medicine and I'm a shoulder and elbow specialist. Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Finstein from Pontchartrain Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. I specialize in sports medical treatments. My name is uh, Dr. Gregory Stewart at Tulane Institute of Sports Medicine, a team physician at Tulane University and the chairman of the Louisiana High School Athletic Association Sports Medicine Advisory Committee. I'm Charles Haddad. I'm a, a sports medicine trained orthopedist over at Punch Train Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Buddy Savoy, professor of orthopedic surgery, uh, specifically shoulder, elbow, and sports surgery here at Tulane University. My name is Misty Surrey. I'm an orthopedic surgeon, and I specialize in sports medicine, and I do a lot of Tommy John elbow surgeries. 
Hi, my name is Scott Buller. I am an orthopedic surgeon here at Crescent City Orthopedics and a sports medicine specialist. And I'm Doug Bostic, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist at Jefferson Orthopedic Clinic. Joey, that was literally a who's who of some of the top sports medicine and orthopedic surgeons in all the Gulf Coast. They've been a huge part of what we've done in Louisiana baseball all season. Yeah, and they're, they're a huge part for us over at Big East Sportsplex and D-Cell uh, Baseball. Um, you know, we are proud to say we're the only orthopedically endorsed baseball entity around. Yeah, within the last couple of weeks, we've focused mostly on the Jefferson Orthopedic Clinic uh, over in the West Bank, but easily accessible from downtown New Orleans, Harahan. Really easy to get to, great parking over there as well. That's always a big plus as well. And Dr. Wax, a yeah. hand specialist this week. Yeah, you wouldn't think hand specialist in, in baseball or sports, but it's, it's vital. Let's head to the West Bank for more with Dr. Wax at Jefferson Orthopedic Clinic. Hey, good morning. I'm Dr. Barton Wax, hand specialist at Jefferson Orthopedic Clinic. We do lots of sports medicine here at Jefferson Orthopedic Clinic. Um, I am the hand specialist, so I treat all hand injuries as well as general orthopedics, um, thumb owner collateral ligaments, mallet fingers, jersey fingers, all injuries of the hand. That infielder who goes to field the ground ball, and we teach the alligator. Yes. You know? And so the ball jumps up, hits him in the finger. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so. Where do we go from there with a jammed finger, which most parents would just say, ah, oh, get some ice and get out of here, okay. You know, <laughs> what, do we, what do we really need to do with the jammed finger? Yes, uh, that is good advice to start, of course, Joey. Uh, icing, elevation, uh, and rest. Because if it hurts and if you're unable to continue play, then you should rest. Uh, and that's when you should see see the guys at Big Easy Sports. Um, but so if the pain continues or if you have swelling that's not going away with ice and elevation, uh, either to any of the three joints of the finger, it will cause you to possibly miss time. So you should see any see, a, see an orthopedic surgeon, a hand surgeon, as quickly as possible. Um, best case scenario, it's usually a sprain or a minor contusion, which is a fancy doctor word for a bruise. Um, but uh, if there is a fracture, either a fracture that goes into the joint or a fracture that's displaced, sometimes those can need surgery in the worst case scenario. So it's better to get them checked out sooner rather than later. As a fellowship trained hand specialist, um, the injuries of the hand are very common in sports and uh, we are very familiar with treating professional athletes uh, all the way down to the little league level. We can get you back to sport quickly and efficiently and just the way you were before. If you're looking for baseball equipment, the Marucci store inside the Big Easy Sportsplex is the place to be. Looking for the brand new Marucci Cat 6? Got it. As for the black and elite bats, they're now on sale from anywhere from $50 to $100 off. They're looking to unload merchandise for the summer. Batting gloves, different fielding gloves, sports gear, yes, even Big Easy t-shirts. Find it all at the Marucci store inside the Big Easy Sportsplex in Elmwood. For over four decades, Arrow Fence has provided top quality fencing, gates, and service. Not only specializing in all types of fencing, Arrow Fence offers automated gates and controls. With an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating, Arrow Fence is fully licensed and insured. For a free estimate, log on to our website or call today. Joey, it's been a pleasure doing the show all season long. You have crazy baseball knowledge. I had no idea how good you were on television as well. It's been a pleasure here. Right. I don't know, I don't know about all that. You did. It, it, nice little rookie, rookie thing. <laughs> Want to throw one more thing. Baseball camp. We still have room in it here at Big Easy. Go online, www.bigeesportsplex.com. Look at our D Cell baseball camp. We have kids as far away from Oxford, Mississippi coming to the camp. Really cool stuff. I want to thank our crew, Ron Kennedy, Chris Metter, and our editor, Justin Thomas, for their great yeah. work all season long. They've been terrific. Those guys have been great. What you don't see is how they get the shots, where they're moving around, the sweat pouring off of them. Those guys work hard. <laughs> for Joey Cabaceres, I'm Eric Ritchie. Thanks so much for watching Louisiana Baseball from the Big Easy Sportsplex. Thank you.